I always thought beef eaters was a gin. Time Rider ain't much of a drinker, but when he does, he likes a gin sour. When you mix like that, though, beef eaters would be kind of a waste. I guess it's some diecast guys, too. But who knew? The 16D Case Bulldozer was pretty much a 1969 to 1974 creation. The base typically some variant of yellow and the body a varying shade of red. It had a yellow plastic cab that's generally missing, like this one, and the treads could be either green or black. In 1976, they released an olive drab version that came without the cab. In my mind's eye, I see some guy at Lesney finding several thousand castings without the cabs and figuring out a way to get rid of them. At any rate, uh, they released this as a twin pack with a number 28A Mack truck, also an olive drab. I gave this a lash as the olive drab version with a twist at the end, so stick around.
remains mercifully. Yes, and then now would you Derek, this star nonsense? Yes, yes. Now which is it? I'm sure of it. The decal I made on my printer. Uh, but it's a fair representation of what Lesney did on some of these olive drab castings. Not all of them, but some of them. Uh, the tracks were 3D printed. I got them on eBay, so they're a, a bit shiny, more so than the originals would be. I did try to find a cab, and I don't have a 3D printer. Uh, I might have done a straight restoration if I had been able to find one. This is Tamiya XF62 and X18 right out of the bottle. I picked up the cab as a part of a lot of Matchbox some time ago. I'm sure this is a cab from an M2 Major pack and the scale looks about right. The flatbed part came from Benchworks Toys, uh, it's resin, it was a trailer actually, and I modified it to go on the back of the tractor. To the beef eaters, I say good luck. There will be an episode of The Bench following the video. This is Time Rider, and I'll leave the light on for you. Hey, thanks for hanging around for this edition of The Bench. If my calendar holds Saturday, October 10th, I'll be publishing a build with Dad and Andrew's Garage. Relatively new to the diecast scene and completely underappreciated, we're going to build us some old Chevelles. I'm excited to see what they come up with. I'll put a link below to their channel if you want to check out this talented father and son team. November's always a big month for me. I'll be turning 61. My channel has an anniversary. The Three Blind Mice community build started in November a year ago. And on the 1st, I'll be publishing a video called Project. I'll cover what my channel has done in the last year and what is to come for 2021. When I bought my, my airbrush, I went to a big box store that night and bought a five pack of Matchbox so I could play with my new toy and I painted this tow truck. Last November, on my first anniversary, I redid the same casting, hopefully an improved version. So really, it only seemed fitting that I buy another one and celebrate my second anniversary with another tow truck, again, hopefully an improved version. We're also painting the world pink at the Three Blind Mice along with new friends the Beef Eaters, old friends the Four Horsemen, and our mentor and mate Marty from Marty's Matchbox Makeovers. And of course anyone else who wants to acknowledge this terrible disease. I'll be auctioning my projects on eBay with 100% of the proceeds going to cancer research. Again, good luck to the Beef Eaters on their new journey. I'll certainly be doing some of those builds myself. One day five years ago in a very very different world. I got lost in Colorado. I hope someday soon I can lose myself somewhere else in this country, this great country that I love so much. I hope you enjoyed the video and that it finds you healthy, happy, and wise.